So we found uh, Quiet Corner here at Gamescom to uh, learn a little bit about what's been going on with uh, Game Globe since last we saw it uh, with Hugh and Rune here. Uh, what's going on and what, what are you showing off here at Gamescom? So uh, this is the first time the game is playable on the show floor. Uh, we've got uh, a great booth over there where we're doing presentations, but we also have a number of computers available where the audience can come up, they can try the game, they can play anything they want, they can try cre uh, the hand at creating their own levels. And of course they can actually publish them straight here from Gamescom and share them with the community. So it's pretty exciting to let them in and let them all try it. And uh, do, are you handing out beta keys as well and trying to get people who are here to, to, to get into the game as well? Yeah, we're trying to get as many people as possible from the crowd here to sign up for the pre-registration for beta. Yeah. And, and uh, sort of, how is the game progressing? And uh, I know you've been getting a lot of new content in from, from, from players. How, how has the game changed since, since uh, the early things that we saw last time? Yeah, so we've been in closed beta for about eight weeks now, and it's, it's been going really, really well. We've been letting in more and more people every week, and they've been producing so much content. Uh, it, it's, it's fun to see them outpacing us. By now, we can't keep up with them. There's just too many great creators out there already, and they're doing some great stuff with it. Um, the community is, is really positive and friendly, which is just great. They're helping each other out, and they're doing lots of stuff with the game. And to some extent, it is their game as much as it is our game now, because they are really influencing the decisions we make, what, what uh, things we push, which features we focus on, because we want to make sure they get uh, what they want. So, so what, kind of, what were those lessons that you learned? What, what kind of things did you not sort of count on before you let people in? What, what changes did you have to make to, to developments? So, I, th I think before it started, I guess one of the things we were worried about is with user-directed content, you are giving people a lot of freedom. So what will happen? Will they uh, misbehave with that freedom? So one of the most positive experiences have been that they haven't misbehaved. They actually do want to create good content and, and create good stuff in there. I've been surprised at how quickly people are picking up everything. And, and I, I thought it would be, you know, in the first week or two, we'll just see people tinkering a little bit. But honestly, within the first week, there were people who were chumping out good content. And, and now it's it's... Every day I, I go in and I find something new and they really are pushing it in lots of directions. So that's been a, a big surprise actually that it's gone that quick. Do you, do you, could, could you, uh, do you have a, a favorite uh, sort of user-created level of your own, of each of you, that, that you could talk a little bit about that, that surprised you in any way? Well, uh, one came up this morning that's, that's really, really interesting. Actually, one of the super users we have that's looking forward, he's coming to Gamescom and we're going to meet him, I think, on the weekend. So uh, it's uh, it's called Miners. Uh, a minor recap problem. A minor problem. Yeah, it's a really exciting and beautiful level, actually. What's the What's the premise of it? It's a side scroller. You have to recover your your mine from the enemies that have conquered it, and he's made a a user generated boss at the end of it. That's really really cool to play. You have something, some other thing? Yeah, I think. I think Every week I find something new and think, oh my god, this is the best thing I've ever seen in here. So it, it, it changes a lot, but I really like it when they do stuff with the tool that either they weren't supposed to, or they actually, you know, they found a way to do something we didn't think was possible. There's, a, there's one level where he set up uh, like a static camera, so you move from one camera to the other, and uh, just like you did in a lot of the old games. And like there's, uh, I don't know how he does it, but you know, like in some games, there's an exclamation mark that appears above the head of the user, and there's something you can interact with. So I like it when they, they really, they don't respect our rules, but they set their own rules in there. I, I like that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I guess uh, when it's on a small scale, it's, e it's easy enough to monitor, but once you let it out to people, there's gonna be a lot of issues coming up. Do, uh, do you feel prepared for, for that onslaught, or do you? Yeah, I, I guess it's the kind of thing you, you never know if you're prepared until it happens, but I, I think um, what, what we can do is we can stress test our servers. We can make sure that everything is as stable as possible. And I think getting the community off on the right foot is incredibly important. The fact that we are seeing them help out and wanting to make good content is just the, the right start, right? I mean, if we can build on that, that, that will be perfect. Um, and of course, the best we can do is be ready. We can react when something is broken or, or falls apart and, you know, take it from there. So uh, what, what's the roadmap I had now? You're, you're in close speed up. Are you planning an open beta before rolling it out full on? 
Yeah, well, in the next couple of months we'll be rolling out to open beta and, <coughs> and letting in as many people as, as want to come and play the game. At the moment we're dramatically expanding the closed beta over the next couple of weeks. So anybody who's on the waiting list at the moment should expect to get a beta key pretty soon. Mm. Yeah. And then hopefully full on. But that, that's always going to be like a, just a, all right, we move from open beta to full on. It's, it's not going to be that noticeable, is it? Well, I think the, the real launch is the open beta, right? The moment you're letting everyone in, you are really live uh, to some extent. But you, I mean, they do cut you a bit of slack while you're in beta, so that, that's the good thing. But I mean, in addition to what Hugh is saying, I mean, we're, we're looking to upgrade the game regularly, right? So we are preparing new packs of content, new themes, uh, new kind of worlds you can go to, building up new f uh, gameplay features that will be released as well. So we'll kind of keep that rolling as well to make sure that there's, there's uh, fresh new things to try out in there. And uh, of course, you'll be doing your own levels and try to compete with players for popularity. Oh yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll still want to do stuff in there. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.